Howdy guys, it's Smitty, and this video is going to revolve around the new mechanics of enhancing armor that were introduced in the point thirteen patch, and how you can replicate what's happening in this clip yourself. So as you saw in the clip, the enhancements given can provide a massive advantage in real gameplay. Here's the same helmet I was using in the offline mode to test the damage out. This enhancement, as you can see, reduces the damage taken to my head if the bullet impacts my helmet by 20%. That is until the durability of this helmet is degraded by 6.25 this raid. This can be reset just by leaving the raid and then going into a new one, since you risk losing the enhancement by repairing the helmet. But this same enhancement is also available for Thorax armor and can allow you to eat APM or PS12B ammo, which has a lot of flesh damage and high pen which you shouldn't be able to with tier 4 and even lower armor if it penetrates. The way these enhancements work is that there are two categories of armor, light vests, which is the skill I'm showcasing in this video that I fully leveled up, and also heavy vests, which I think is going to be an even more overpowered problem when fully maxed out, but I'll go into that later. But essentially when light vests are fully maxed and elite, it allows you to get a random enhancement on your armor when you repair it, no matter how much it's being repaired for, even if it's a very small amount. And there are only two enhancements currently in the game, which is 10 or 20% damage reduction to the areas covered by the armor. The 10% is going to be very common, and the 20% being rare. It feels like you can get an enhanced piece of gear roughly one in every four repairs once you're elite, but there is no guaranteed number that I can find for this. These enhancements you can get are on top of other perks granted by having Light Vest Elite, which is the reduction of movement speed penalties of Light Armor by 30%, 30% less damage from melee strikes on areas covered by Light Armor, 40% of the effective HP being not taken away from armor repair kits, followed by a 50% chance to not damage armor at all when repairing them. So in other words, a 65 durability gazelle that gets damaged no matter how damaged can be repaired back to a 65 durability gazelle half the time. So basically it's just a coin flip. And also areas that are covered by light armor cannot get a bleed. So in all, getting Light Vest Max rewards you with a ridiculous list of benefits, but the only thing stopping you from getting here is going to be money, because the only way to consistently level this skill is repairing armor which takes a lot of rubles. This is because when you're trying to level the skill just by wearing Light Vests in a raid normally, you could play a whole wipe and still not max it, because the points you gain when getting shot are so minimal in raid. In order for me to get Light Vest skills, it took me roughly 60 million rubles worth of buying broken armor from Fence and the Flea Market then repairing them with armor repair kits because that's what you have to do, you cannot use traders, and then selling them back to whoever gave me the most ruble, and then repeating this process over and over and over again until I got level 51. But before you start buying things, you want to make sure that whatever you're buying to repair, it's going to be the armor type you want. When you go and inspect on an item and you're looking at its armor type, it has to say light or heavy vests. If it says nothing, it's not going to give you any points at all. But when choosing armors to buy, you want to get the most economical armor that isn't a scam on the market or fence that is at least halfway broken. This is because you get more points towards light vests for fixing things that take more durability from the armor repair kit. Per armor repair, it will reward you with anywhere between 1.5 to 4-ish points of light vest skill if you're choosing good armors. The armor you're constantly buying and losing money on, coupled with the constantly increasing repair kit costs as the wipe goes on, is why this grind takes so much money to finish and why I recommend you do it sooner rather than later if you can make the money now. Now let's get into heavy armor skill. The leveling process is also the same with heavy armor as it is with light armor, but the problem is, is that heavy armor is significantly less common on the market, with there only being semi-common items such as a 6B3TM rat rig and 6 SH helmets to buy which will take forever since the supply for broken ones is so low. Which means you would have to sit on flea market forever or bring the armors out of weeks worth of raids to fully level it. But if you do manage to max heavy vests, the rewards are insane. Its elite perks are a 20% reduction of blunt damage through heavy armor, 25% less move speed penalties, the same repair buffs as the light vest perk, and the best part which is having a chance to deflect bullets off of your armor. This would ultimately result in a legitimate walking tank build where you would almost never die unless you were leg metted or shot with SNB or M61. But that's going to be the video guys, make sure to comment down below and let me know if I missed anything important. And make sure to check out the streams, link's going to be down in the description, we're live daily.